Sports Den has bats for all ages, gloves for all positions, and all the accessories you will ever need. Located at 94547 Ukea Street, Suite 303 in beautiful downtown Waipio. Or give us a call at 676-7826. Sports Den, it's not just sporting goods, it's still a way of life. When you feel like Vegas, there's just one place to stay. Grab a drink at the Holo Holo Bar, there's just one place to play. We got a fresh hot look, a new sports book. We got those local meals, just like Auntie Cooks. Aloha, spoken here. Get back to Vegas with Vacation to Hawaii. Airfare, hotel, meals, and transfers, just $8.99. This is ESPN Honolulu, KKEA Honolulu, AM 1420 at K224FR, Honolulu, 92.7 FM. This is SportsCenter. I'm Steve Lennox. Under a minute to go in the third quarter in Phoenix. Pelicans and Suns. Game five of their first round playoff series. Suns once again without Devin Booker. Right now up 10, 86, 76. Game five tonight. Sean Kelly, Corey Alexander on the call and available on other ESPN radio affiliates. Great finish in Memphis Tuesday night. Grizzlies coming back in the fourth quarter. Beat the Timberwolves 111-109. John Morant, the game-winning layup with one second to go in regulation. Anthony Edwards did tie the game for the Timberwolves. He tied it at 109 on a three-pointer with just over three seconds to go. Grizzlies now up 3-2 in the series. Morant, 30 in the victory. Also had 13 rebounds and nine assists. Carl Anthony Towns on the other side, 28 points, 12 rebounds coming in the loss. It's disappointment, obviously. You know, it's it's, it's a tough pill to swallow. Um, feel like you got it, you know, after all the mistakes made and everything like that. We, we hit a big three to tie the game up for four seconds and, you know, I feel good. I feel pretty good about going into overtime and having a chance to uh, win the game still. Um, you know, just learning experiences. Grizzlies and Timberwolves play game six in Minneapolis Friday night. Miami Heat playing without Jimmy Butler and Kyle Lowry beat the Hawks 97-94. Victor Oladipo 23. Trey Young held to just 11 points. Also had six turnovers in the loss. DeAndre Hunter 35 for Atlanta before he fouled out of the game. Miami takes a series four games to one. Mavericks and Jazz game six in Utah Thursday night. ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski reporting. MRI on Donovan Mitchell coming back negative. Mitchell right now nursing a quad contusion. Hey, I'm Greeny, and it is the most wonderful time of the sports year. NBA playoffs fast and furious, and the NFL draft around the corner. We're talking about it. It's Greeny, starting 10 a.m. Eastern on ESPN Radio and ESPN+. Plus. Coors Light and Ruby Tuesday Hawaii presents Call the Coach with Timmy Chang. Brought to you by HGEA, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union, and IBEW Local 1186. You can catch Call the Coach on the air on ESPN Honolulu's Facebook page or live from Ruby Tuesday Moana Lua. Here's Bobby Curran. Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's Call the Coach. From Ruby Tuesday at Moana Lua, Kanoa Leahy here is sitting in for Bobby. He is out, and so obviously out of extreme levels of desperation. I got a call to fill in for Bobby, so apologies in advance, but I am being joined by head coach of the University of Hawaii football team, Timmy Chang. How about a hand for Timmy Chang, everybody? We got a good crowd here at Ruby Tuesday. It is not too late. If you're in your car, you're in the area, come on down. Uh, enjoy some of the good food, the good drink, and, of course, the good company, but uh, you did a call the coach show, Timmy, prior to spring practice. You went through the spring practices. You had the island day a couple of weekends back. Now spring session is officially pow. And so you sit here on the other side of it, on the concluding side of it. How did the spring session go, in your opinion? You know, it, it seemed it seemed to go pretty fast. You know, it, it seemed like but we were just sitting here with Bobby just a little short while ago in the same setting, beautiful Hawaii, right here in Moana Lua at the Ruby Tuesday here. Um, and and it kind of happened fast. You know, but before you know it, you, you're just kind of you're kind of grinding. You're going through the process. You know, you're working on your technique and your fundamentals. You're trying to get your scheme in, offensive, defensively, and special teams. We had a lot of practice time out there. You know, it's 
it's one of those things where, you know, we're in the evaluation period of these guys. They're getting to fill out what the, what's the demand on their bodies and, and, and mentally what we're trying to install. But overall, it went really well. You know, I, 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 I think the, the, the positive is that we didn't really lose anybody permanently for the season. You know, we got, we got a good evaluation of our roster, our team. Very excited about those guys. I'm, I'm really happy about the buy-in, you know, the – the way that these guys competed, the way that they want to learn, the way that they want to get better, they want to do awesome in the season. I, I, I'm so appreciative of that. But um, but it's 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 just a continued work in progress, and it and it doesn't stop. It's you no, know, we're just trying to go into the next phase. What is the objective going into spring? And this being your first as a head football coach, what was the objective? How close did you get, in your opinion, to accomplishing that objective? You know, offensively, you know, we wanted to install a, 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 a big playbook, you know, and, and get the base of what we're trying to do and what we're trying to and, – and, and, and the speed of what we're trying to play at. Um, you know, that, that that was really well. We also wanted to see the guys compete, right? There's, there's a seven quarterbacks. You know, there's about 12 receivers. You know, there's about six running backs on the roster. You know, you got five tight ends. You got – 15 offense alignment and so on offense you know it was just seeing those guys trying to get grasp the playbook go out there and execute it as best as they could you know you know they're gonna you know we tell them man you're gonna fail you know it's you're not gonna be perfect but we're gonna keep striving to be perfect and we're just gonna get better every day um and that's what those guys did on offense you know jake yoro on defense you know he has his installation on what he wants to get done his blitz packages his base coverages you know and he, he and he has a better understanding of the roster it's just getting those guys familiar with their new position coaches and and then also seeing the the guys that um that that were new that came in in mid spring that did a good job um you know just kind of getting those guys on board on what we're, we're trying to do um, special teams wise same thing you know we we got to put a we, we focused more on fundamental skill and technique because that's what the that's what the game really demands and 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 those things on special teams kind of fit in to a lot of offensive scheme and fundamental techniques as well as defensive fundamentals and techniques and so it's a crossover of all three phases from special teams and um, and I thought our guys did a, a, a good job of, of understanding learning and now where we can build off of good stuff well this is called the coach all right so I wanted to just throw out a couple of questions just to get things loose and warm here but we do want to call upon those listening anybody who's here in the house that wants to ask a question of course you can call or text 296-1420 we're coming to you on ESPN Honolulu 1420 AM 92.7 on the FM side or you can listen via ESPN Honolulu.com free on the sideline Hawaii app or you can watch the stream we're actually on camera here as well Timmy via Facebook and YouTube the ESPN Honolulu channels uh, all right so this is this comes with the territory as the head coach right some of these shindigs meeting people having to answer questions um, how comfortable are you with this part of the gig you know I've, I'm getting more and more comfortable with it I think um, I think what helped me set set me up and, and June said this you know early on when I was playing quarterback at, at this position he was like well if you can if you can if you know how to talk to the media and stand in front of the media and present yourself here, you know, and in, in, at the University of Hawaii, you know, it's going to help you and it, you'll be able to do this thing anywhere. And so it, and, and it was really true, you know, um, you know, just kind of being in front of people and um, and understanding what our goals are. You know, um, you know, marketing is a big marketing is a big thing for for our, for our football team and, and getting getting the crowd and getting the state all eight islands <laughs> to be there at the game. And, and when we come to a, a city near you in Fresno or San Diego or, you know, San Jose, you know, I, I love to see our fans out there supporting as well. Kanoa Leahy sitting next to University of Hawaii head football coach Timmy Chang. This is called the coach again, 296-1420, the number to call or text, and we'll get your question on the air. Let's talk about Island Day because there was a lot of planning and a lot of effort that went into this thing. You had to call an audible when it came to the entertainment, Rebel Soldiers, because of the inclement weather, had to move inside the arena, but that didn't put a damper on the event as a whole. And I think anybody that was there and really uh, – Everyone that I have talked to that was there thought it was objectively a success. What was your take on it? What did it look like from your perspective? You know, I, I thought the university as a whole did an unbelievable job from the president to upper campus to our athletic department, all working together 
to pull this thing off, you know, I was hired on January 21st. I think, you know, a, a week later, I'm in a I'm in a press conference and I'm and I'm expressing <laughs> my ideas, you know, not really knowing the guidelines of what we can and cannot do, but it was just an idea of what um you know wanted spring ball to look like and and give a a presentation of what a game atmosphere could do, you know, at at, at the University of Hawaii and be very excited about that. I I know um just kind of watching the games, you know, being in the Mountain West at Nevada, you know, you, you would watch the UH games, the home games, and there was no fans and, and those type of things. And, and us not being down the street at Aloha Stadium, you know, the atmosphere is just a little different, but it could be special, and I think it is special when, when you put all the elements together. So the university did an unbelievable job. You know, like you said, there was inclement weather. You know, they had to make a decision to move it from Les Murakami into, in, into our arena, and they did a fabulous job. I thought – the crowd, the crowd was electric. They came out there and supported. You know, they were they were dancing around. They were skanking. It it was a good time. You know, and and really, um, you know, for us, we wanted our we wanted recruits. You know, we had official visits in town. We, we were still recruiting a 22 class. You know, pretty late here, and we're also recruiting the the future of the 23s and 24s and 25s of the state and making the state a priority. So those, you know, because of the fans and and the and the and the university having this and the fans coming out and, and having that energy, it really helped out our recruiting, you know, and an all around basis. You know, I, I know I know there's some other sports that had recruits out there. They were successful <laughs> in it as well. We were successful. So you, you see how the the, the buy in sure. from the whole program, the whole state, the whole university just kinda comes together. The fans, you know, the fans are what got me to stay home. You know, and, and, and when I saw the fans you know, you know, from an 0 and 18, I say it again, from an 0 and 18, you know, junior year to then my senior year, watching the, the the school win the conference, a share of the conference title, and the state just coming out and supporting this team, it it just told me that this is the state's team. You know, this is it. You know, football is it. The state is going to support this football team. <laughs> I'm like, sign me up. Let's go. And uh, and 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 that's the power that the state has and the people have. Because the people are the special ones. Yeah, that uh, 2000 recruiting class will go down. I mean, what was as close to a clean sweep of the top Hawaii prospects that maybe this uh, program and institution has ever gotten. And, of course, you were part of that. We will get specifically into the recruiting, at least to whatever level you can discuss at this stage. But we do want to get to some callers and some texts. This is from Harry. Harry said he fell in love with Greg McMacken's style of attack defense. What type of defensive scheme will your D.C., in this case Jacob Yoro, implement? You know, Hawaii has some of the f smartest fan base, <laughs> you know, and, and they ask all the right questions. Now, I don't know if I can answer all these questions right away. You know, uh, we're still trying to be undercover as we play Vanderbilt. They've got new D two defensive coordinators, uh, two, a defensive coordinator, a new offensive coordinator. As you know, we have a new offensive coordinator, a new defensive coordinator. But um, Greg McMacken uh, was a very attacking defense. Anytime you guys can, every time we can live in the backfield of a quarterback, it just makes it difficult to do anything, right? It's difficult if you're winning the line of scrimmage. It's difficult to run the ball if you're if you're behind the line of scrimmage and you're creating disruption. You know, it's hard to throw the ball. And so, you know, all defenses want to they, – they're going to play this cat and mouse game, but you do want to have guys, especially your front four, and if you can add and create a little bit of pressure with blitz packages, you want to live in that backfield. And if you're doing that, then your guys don't have to cover as much, and they can be a more aggressive as they throw the underneath, ti underneath timing routes that they're trying to get the ball out of their hands a little quick. Do you feel like you have the personnel to be able to do that at this point? Or are there some pieces that still need to put in, be put in place? You know, we, we you know, it kind of ties into your, your, your future recruiting question. We might as well get into it a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm very excited about um, what we've been doing defensively um, with the guys that are here. You know, uh, one, one guy I really want to point out is Jonah Welch. And, and, and being a le talk about being a leader. Right, he was a he was a three-star recruit. I remember we recruited him at Nevada. He committed to Navy, and he ends up staying home. You know, and that was about three years ago or so. Um, and and what this kid has done in the off season and his leadership role that he has taken, and he has gotten after the he's gotten after our quarterbacks <laughs> at in spring ball, and that's a good sign for us, right? And so he's been really good for us. Um, rushing the passer, getting after guys, um, creating disruption. Now, what we're doing in the portal 
is pretty special. Um, you know, we're getting some we're getting some really good guys, and and it, it's been, you know, it's been um it's been a slow process, right? You know, I, you know, coming from Nevada to Colorado State in ten days, we recruited I, I believe we we recruited about twenty two guys. You know, we signed about twenty two guys in ten days. You know, coming over here and getting the job on the twenty first, it was a very patient. We can't get them into school. Let's not rush. Let's figure out what we have and be methodical during this time. Now, right now we're at a time where uh, where, where recruits have to get in the portal before May 1st, and a lot of them are. There's a lot of there's a lot of things happening in the college world of sports because people are ending spring ball. Um, people are understanding where they where they stand with other teams, and 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 we're here. We were here just being patient from from that date of January 20 21st to now and and it's starting to pay off and so um that defense is going to be revamped with the with the nine scholarships or so that we have um just adding pieces on to the exist existing pieces that are there um i'm pretty excited about it very good very good thanks uh, once again to harry for that initial text 296-1420 the number to call or text or also at espn honolulu on facebook here's another text this is anonymous coach I heard athletic director David Matlin say Alex Waterhouse weight room will be renovated. Are there still plans to build a sports performance center for football? Doesn't football need its own facility? You know, I think I think the the weight room is going to be a nice addition. Um, I was told that it was it, it, it's it will start in January. Um, the money's there to put it in and, and, and build it now. I. You know, I, I, I kind of like old things a little bit. You know, um, I like things a little bit rough around the edges. So, you know, we're not – we just know we're not a little bit pampered in this sport. You know what I mean? I like us a little bit tough. And so – um, but having nice things does make a difference. You know, don't know if there will be a sports facility in the future, um, but it would be nice if we did have one. I mean, those are things I – mean, you, you, you shoot – for the stars, right, and and maybe you reach the moon, and those things in this day and age, frankly, of intercollegiate athletics and the arms race that occurs across the landscape, those things are important. No, no, no doubt they're important. They're important, and uh, you know, we it, it takes a lot of people uh, to to support and get on board and um and 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 make these things happen. And so, um, you know, but as as of right now, just ending spring ball. And just having this new roster, my job is to win games. <laughs> well, on that note, we have two callers waiting, but we do have to take a break. So we ask for your patience. Please hang on. We'll get to you immediately when we come back. You are listening to Call the Coach at Ruby Tuesday at Moanalua with head coach Timmy Chan. Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union brings you advice for life. Shopping for a new vehicle? Then check out Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union's auto loans. Is buying a hybrid or electric car part of your sustainable plan? Then receive a 0.25% discount for as low as 1.70 annual percent rate for your auto loan. Go to HiFiCU.com for all your auto loan needs and see all the other benefits that members receive. Kelly Mai, you belong at Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. For life. Federally insured by NCUA. Loan subject to approval. Other rates and terms available. Rate subject to change. Three-year loan rates as low as 1.95%. Hi, this is Rick from Ruby Tuesday, Hawaii. We have a tax season special for you to make April a great month. Choose any one of our four pasta dishes for only $16.99. We have the Parmesan shrimp, crispy mac and cheese, Parmesan chicken, and our best-selling chicken and broccoli pasta. Enjoy any one of them with the Miller Coors Light for only $3.69. Thanks, see you soon, and make every day a Ruby Tuesday. Your staycation is waiting for you at the newly refurbished Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Walking distance to the beach and lots of shopping. Rooms with smart TVs and high-speed internet. Enjoy Rivals Sports Lounge, Slice of Waikiki Pizza, and IHOP, conveniently located on-site. And we have super affordable rates for Kamaaina. Visit Outrigger.com slash Waikiki Malia. Enjoy the magic of Waikiki at the Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. I'm a speed bump. Did you hear what I said? I'm a speed bump. And if you have cut rate car insurance, the cost to reattach your muffler could really be a bump in the road. So switch to Allstate, save money, and be better protected from mayhem like me. Based on coverage and limits selected, subject to terms, conditions, and availability. In most states, prices vary based on how you buy. Allstate Bar and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates, Northbrook, Illinois. Ray Maliazzi here for eBay Motors. 
Okay, easy now. You're teaching your kid how to parallel park. Ouch! <laughs> Turns out he likes to do it by feel. <laughs> Don't worry, eBay Motors has bumpers, taillights, trunk lids, license plate holders, 122 million parts. Pull up just a little bit. And headlights. <laughs> They've got lots of headlights. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors. Let's ride. Well, what you doing now? I'm doing my own PV system, and I get homie fall-proof gear. Well, I don't think bubble wrap is actually going to work. Yeah, I get them. Check this out. Okay. Well, you okay? I think that heat expanding stuff is true. Getting small and hot in here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's raining over here. How we pop all the stuff? Hey, hey, poco, poco, poco. Oh, careful. Make sure to have an electrical contractor and licensed electrician do your photovoltaic take installations and electrical work. I-B-E-W Local 1186 Lighting your path to the future Call the coach with Timmy Chang on ESPN Honolulu. Welcome back. It's called the coach with Timmy Chang, head coach for the University of Hawaii football team. We're here at Ruby Tuesday, Moana Lua. Kanoa Leahy filling in for Bobby tonight. I uh, want to thank a couple of our callers for waiting patiently through the break, so uh, don't want to make them wait any longer. Let's get right to it. 296-1420, the number to call or text. We have Paul on the line. Let's patch him in. Paul, what's up? Oh, hi, Kanoa. Hi, coach. How you doing? How's everybody doing? Uh, coach, well, uh, hi. How you doing? Thanks. You know, uh, we, we remember you, man, from when you walked, gave your ball game ball to your dad and to now, and you're a hero, man. And my two questions are this, okay. Was there a point at spring practice or any practice where uh, you you thought, at least in your head, we don't want details, we don't want to give the opponents ammunition there. Was there a point during any of the practices where you, you basically told yourself, wow, this, this worked at Nevada? This started working at Colorado. Whoa, this is Cherry. This is going to work at Hawaii. And my second question is, can what can you tell us about the uniform? And I'll listen off the air because I know there's other people. God bless. Thanks for the call, Paul. Hey, Paul, thanks. Yeah, you know, um, you know, kind of just watching us, you know, what, what, what made me say the word Cherry, besides it being a play that we have, okay, um, was watching my – Watching our coaches, okay, coach and go at it and teach and these guys buying into the fundamentals and listening and trying to execute the details of what we're trying to do. This is a team that picked up picked up the um, the, the the intricacies and the fundamentals and the details faster than any any program that I've been around, and it's all because of the buy-in. You know, that, that's a big part of it. It's just the buy-in to what they what they're believing in us, what we're putting down. You know, our coaching staff, I, I, I brag about them all the time, but I love them, man. You know, they're good people first, and they're guys that can develop. They're guys that, that understand that what we need to do and how we got to accomplish, and they're like-minded guys. And so I was very pleased then to watch them go and, and do those things. Um, your second question. Um, he was asking about the uniforms. The uniforms, yeah. A very important question. It is It is an important I, I really, I really like – that old style black in which we used to wear and I really like the Colt Brennan's on the road gray and white now I don't know if I c we can pull the gray and white off is what I'm told right now but eventually we'd like to get there with the with the all blacks on at home and 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 having that uh having those Colt Brennan gray and whites on the road those were your favorites though the all blacks with I the 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 current H logo Dark green helmets. Yes, I I like the all blacks and I like the I like that uh, that Hawaiian you know print around wrapped around the leg. Now I think we're gonna I think we're gonna slide down the leg. Um, you know it's gonna go from the waist all the way down to the knee. Um, on both sides and so uh, it'll it'll look nice. All right, looking forward to that. Thanks again for the call, Paul. Two nine six fourteen twenty, the number to call or text. Uh, you can also hit us up at ESPN Honolulu on Facebook. We have Frank waiting on the line. Frank, what's up? Hi, Coach. Um, well, I wish you a luck uh, the whole season. And I just want to know about the um, how's the uh, receiver and the defense and that quarterback. Is he going to be the first string, number 13, or is he going to be the second string? And good luck to Timmy Chang. And I watched your spring show, and it was a so exciting and fun game to watch. I hope it's going to be to the whole game of the season. And then good luck again. Thanks, Frank. And then we're going to have some, some Chinese dragon doing that the first game. For the start of the season, for like, good luck. 
<laughs> yeah, that's Chinese New Year. Yeah, that uh, um, thanks, Frank. Uh, really? You know the 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 Chinese. We we can work on that. All things are a possibility as long you know as long as people say yes. And so we we can we can ask about it and 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 we can try to go do it. But I, I appreciate your feedback. Um, as far as quarterback, you know, you know, um, Braden did a great job. You know, uh, he he completed the ball the way he distributed the ball the way that we wanted him to. Um, Cam and Cooper's in the hunt. Armani Eden is in the hunt. Um, there's some guys that we liked. Uh, you know, there's a there's a there's a walk on Jake Farrell that uh that that was really good. Um, and and actually played really good in the spring game. You know, you would have not known it, but he was with the twos, and the twos were going against the ones, and he scored. He scored on three of his drives. He he put three 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 touchdowns on the board, and so those guys are doing a great job. Not 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 thinking not thinking we're gonna um, name a quarterback a starter yet, but uh, but we'll continue to uh, to give those guys a little bit of rest. But we'll narrow some of those things down and and really hone in. And Braden will probably be in in the top running to get a lot of those reps so he can give himself to win a job. Um, but receiver, defense, you know, receivers, we got some special ones. Um, you know, Zion Bowens leads that room, and um, and he's our super senior. And um, and, and that's a guy that I'd I like you guys to watch as we, we try to throw the ball to him deep. You mentioned Jake Farrell. He threw three touchdowns all to Tamatoa Mokiao Atimalala. That, they seem to have a nice connection there on Island Day. Yeah, they did. They did. And, and, I, was, and I was happy. Um, I was happy for Tama. You know, he, uh, he studies, works hard, you know, and, 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 and when they get to do that and, and, and show what they've been working on, it's, it's, always, it's always fun. All right, we have a Facebook message from Sean. He is asking Coach Timmy Chang, what's been the most challenging thing you have faced since you have become the head coach? What position on the team has surprised you the most? So a two-parter, what's the most challenging thing that you've faced aside from call the coach episodes since you've become the head coach? Uh, the most challenging thing on the job is not having enough time in the day. You know, uh, you know these days, you know, you, you, they start early, they they end late, and and you wish you could accomplish more in them. You know, you just, you know, you, as you, when you put your head down and you wake up, there's there's a, there's another list of things that you just got to keep doing and and keep going. And so, um, you know that that'll never stop. And so, um, you know, there's challenges, and, and there's there's all there's a bunch there's a bunch of different things that that'll pop up in in my day that come along. But um, but but just looking forward to the challenge. I wish there was more hours, like in in the day, just like anybody else. What position on the team has surprised you the most? That's a good question. That is a good question. You know, there's there's a lot of leadership at the at the linebacker position. Um, you know, our 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 running back, you know, Dietrich is really special. You know that that's that's a that's a guy that um. You know uh, that that needs to get the ball, and, and I, we need him to stay healthy. Um, you know, Shipley at and our specialist, um, I think is probably one of the better specialists in the conference, not not also the country. Um, and and then the other rooms just con kind of continue to grow, right? You know, safety's going to continue to grow, receivers they're going to continue to grow, um, and and we need them to, uh, especially the, and, and D line. You know, we're going to bring in some we're going to bring in some guys to help to help these positions out, so we can uh, we can create some depth. All right, uh, thanks once again for that message, Sean. Uh, let's go to a text. This is another anonymous text. Uh, you touched on it a little bit but coach how is the special teams looking for next season you know very ex very excited about the specialist like I said Shipley you know I think he wants to do it all and uh, you know he wants to do kickoffs he wants to do field goal he wants to do punts he's a great kid and 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 and, and he's probably one of the most athletic kids you know in in on our team you know running wise you know numbers wise you know measurables you know so he very happy with him and on his ability, you know, at snapper, you know, you know, Wyatt has been doing a really good job of, uh, of getting the ball back there on time. Um, but you know what, what makes the special teams is, is, is the culture and the buy-in from the complete team. That's what makes a good special teams. You know, we have a good special teams coordinator and coach Thomas Sheffield that I, we brought, we, me and him been working together t um, since Nevada the last two years. We're on our way to Colorado State and I was able to uh, ask Coach Norvell if I could use Thomas on my staff. <laughs> and um, after, you know, plea and bargain, Coach coach agreed. And uh, and so I'm, I'm very lucky to have Coach uh, Sheffield with me. And, um, and, and we're building this culture the way we want it. And he calls it the ride-or-die culture. 
It took a little bit of bartering to uh, get it, the, the, the convincing done to get Thomas Sheffield here? It, it did. It did. It, you know, Coach Norville, I owe, I owe that guy a lot. You know, there, there, there's, there's a handful of coaches that, you know, that you look to as mentors, and he's one of them, you know, along with Coach Jones and, and Coach Cal Lee and, and some of these other guys. But uh, Coach Norvell's right up there too. All right, Texter added one more uh, part to his question, a second question. The wind at T.C. Ching Athletic Complex could be a big weapon for you. How about some trick plays to take advantage of the wind? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. That's one that you don't really want to answer over air. But Oh, Vanderbilt's you know. listening. We know that. Vanderbilt's <laughs> listening right now. But, yeah, that 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 uh, that Kamakani blowing down the Manoa Valley <laughs> uh, is a little different. And so – um, but but we'll 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 be have practiced in that thing you know uh, six seven days a week and so uh, we'll be well prepared. So the answer is yes. Trick plays. Expect, sure. Expect some uh, trick plays. All right. Uh, we uh, have another caller two nine six fourteen twenty the number to call or text or also message us on Facebook at ESPN Honolulu. Adrian is on the line. Adrian, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Uh, how's it going, Timmy Chang? Uh, first of all, welcome back to the island. Uh, I'm from uh, Los Angeles, and I've been following your collegiate career since uh, early 2000, and I'm a big, big, big fan of yours. Uh, second, I'd like to really thank your wife. Uh, she, we've been following her on Instagram. I've been showing my son, of course, uh, your kids, and uh, she's been making uh, a football exciting again through her eyes so we can see it as fans, and I really, really appreciate your wife for doing that through Instagram. Um, you brought a lot of excitement already back here in California. I have a bunch of uh, Hawaiians and a bunch of Filipinos who work over at the hospital. I'm a cook there, and everyone's talking about Hawaii football. We are so excited that you're back. We are so excited for your opportunity, and we just can't wait for August 27th against Vanderbilt. We are we're, we're, we're really excited. But, Timmy, my question to you is, besides welcoming back, and thank you to your wife, the defense. There's been a lot of holes in that defense the last few years. And with Solo leaving, how are we going to replace that? Yeah, um, you know what? you got to have great players. you got to have a good scheme. And, and you gotta, you got to get those guys – got to put those guys in position to, uh, to do well. Now, you know, the, the conference is pretty tough. You know, if I, if I just looked at some of the, the teams that, um, that, that Hawaii has played last year, you know, I was at Nevada. We're the past top – you know, we're the, the top passing team in the conference last year, led by Carson Strong. You know, you, you go to – you got Fresno State on the side, and they they got a powerful offense as well with Jake Hayner. Um, you know, there's there's no slouches. And so your defense has to play and come up big. The, the thing that I – the thing that always made us tough here in Hawaii, I thought, was the kids. You know, the kids, you know, on both sides of the ball, you know, you can throw a rock – and, and, and run into an offense, a Polynesian offense alignment or defense alignment that's going to that's gonna either win the gap on, others, on, on either side of the ball. And, and, and we have, we're, we're built for linebackers. We're built for safeties. We have enough here that can, that can help and plug up holes, and, and, and we need to do that. You know, we need to recruit really well, and, and we also need to put these kids into position. So as, as, as coaches, I, I know that – you know, surrounding Jake with with guys that you know um, that he has worked with in the past. You know, at at, at Cal Poly with Etienne as a DC at Eastern Washington, and Josh Brown, who he worked with as well. That there he was the DC at the time. Those guys have left for about six years and been a part and have been learning their different styles of defense and and, and more knowledge. And now. What Hawaii has done in putting Jake in charge, you know, we, we surrounded Jake with, with, with familiar guys that not want that not only are they on the same page and, and bring new ideas, but you know, they also have Hawaii ties as well. So it's kind of a it's kind of a perfect storm of uh, of coaches to to put around for a defense that can um yes. that can swarm and and, 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 and and do what you're saying, you know, get after the quarterback and um and, and take away the football. Thanks a lot, Adrian. Fantastic. Love it. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the island, Timmy. Can't wait for August 27th. I'll see you at San Diego State and San Jose State. Hawaii yes. football forever. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. There it is, Adrian. That's a good call. He has a great radio voice, too. Thank you very much, Adrian. 
And uh, good to know your wife's Instagram is getting the message out there to the masses, right? Yeah, she she got a she got a big pub right there on their Instagram <laughs> follow, and so yeah, the Chang Gang goes wild on that thing. Uh, it was it it wasn't it was it was private before, but I guess now that you're a head coach, you got to make it public. Got to make it public. Yeah, and I have no clue about what goes on on that thing. So, <laughs> well, thank uh, her for those efforts. That's for sure. Uh, you have the Chang Gang here as well as uh, several other uh, members of the staff overall entourage who you got here yeah i got my mom you know old faithful you know mom's mom's my favorite fan she's she's the rock she's the support system you know um you know and and and, and she's levi's number one and so um you know i have my wife and our five kids here she's the rock in our family that's the that's the matriarch she's she's the one that gets everything done so i can coach i have coach sheffield's here our special teams tight end coach, as well as Matt Chon, our chief of staff, and then our kids and uh, my best friend, Bronson Sismar. Very good. Well, welcome. Uh, thanks for coming down. And, uh, again, thanks for the call, Adrian. 296-1420 is the number to call or text. We have Tom waiting on the line. Tom, what do you got? Tom, are you there? Did we lose Tom? We lost Tom. All right. That gives us a chance to take – oh, I thought I heard something. Oh, sorry. Oh, that was Chris Hart. That was, do you have a question for Coach Chang? Uh, yeah, I got a text in. Somebody just sent a text in, and it was Mike from Vegas. And he says, that's his uh, He says, who's your favorite staff member here, Thomas Sheffield or Matt Chong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. One's my son, literally. I, I, I took both guys from Nevada, and so that's a tough one. The question was for those, just in case they couldn't hear, uh, from uh, Chris Hart, who's your favorite staff member that's present, Thomas Sheffield or Matt Chon? And you completely avoided yeah. answering that question, <laughs> which is a shrewd move, I think. Yeah, yeah. That'll get me in trouble. All right. Well, we got to take a break anyway, right? So let's go ahead and take a break. We have a couple other texters to get to and some callers as well. So uh, thanks for uh, hanging on and being patient. But for now, we'll send it away. We'll be back here with more Call the Coach from Ruby Tuesday, Moana Lua. Coach Timmy Chang. Some people think of public workers as statistics, numbers, positions that are unnecessary. But public workers include police dispatchers, lifeguards, principals, and other school workers like safety and security specialists and educational assistants, public health nurses, and thousands more real people who play important roles that every community needs. So those public workers, we shouldn't take them for granted. They provide essential services that benefit us all. A message from HGEA. Your staycation is waiting for you at the newly refurbished Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Walking distance to the beach and lots of shopping. Rooms with smart TVs and high-speed internet. Enjoy Rivals Sports Lounge, Slice of Waikiki Pizza, and IHOP, conveniently located on site. And we have super affordable rates for Kamaaina. Visit Outrigger.com slash Waikiki Malia. Enjoy the magic of Waikiki at the Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Spring means getting stuff done, like cutting, shoveling, and planting. Looks like you're in for a busy weekend. Better grab a five-hour energy with vitamins, caffeine, and nutrients. It will help you cut those chores and those weeds down to size. Five-hour energy tastes great, and it works fast. So grab that shovel, power up that mower, and turn on the sprinkler. It's time to make your yard the envy of the neighborhood. Five-hour energy for every weekend to-do list. For more information, visit 5hourenergy.com. Liberty Mutual Insurance Company presents. And Doug. Don't you just love the smell of old books? This is a library. Sorry, ma'am. We're looking for a book titled Liberty Mutual Customizes Your Car Insurance So You Only Pay for What You Need. I don't think we carry that, but check nonfiction. It really does devour literature. Please leave. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Here's something new from PAXA, Hawaii's premier technology provider. HPE Electra powers your data from edge to cloud. The HPE data infrastructure is AI-driven, built for cloud, and delivered as a service. The solution provides fast, consistent performance and 99.9999% guaranteed availability. To learn more and to schedule a demo with PAXA, Hawaii's HPE Gold Partner, go to paxa.com slash electra. 
Electra. That's Paxa.com slash A-L-L-E-T-R-A. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2020 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Call the coach with Timmy Chang on ESPN Honolulu. All right, welcome back to Ruby Tuesday. Moana Lua Kanoa Leahy sitting next to the coach, Timmy Chang, as we bring you another episode, a special edition of Call the Coach. Filling in for Bobby here this evening. Again, we're coming to you on ESPN Honolulu, 1420 AM, 92.7 FM. You can also follow us on ESPNHonolulu.com or free via the sideline Hawaii app. And call or text 296-1420 if you have a question or comment for the coach. You can also hit us up on Facebook at ESPN Honolulu. Have a couple callers waiting. Tom is on the line. Tom, are you there? Yes, I'm here. What's up, Tom? What you got? Coach Chang, thanks a lot for taking my call. I got a question about the quarterback position. And a lot of people are very surprised you haven't already stolen Jonah Chong from Nevada and brought him over through the transfer portal. And everybody agrees, I think, that he's the cross between Peyton Manning and Russell Wilson. He's going to be the star to save the team. And when do you plan on bringing him over? Oh, that'd be tampering, Tom. <laughs> um, I know we'll find a way. We'll find a way. Good, good question, Tom. You know, um, and – you know, let me just talk about my relationship with Jonah. You know, he, he's a great kid. He's he's one that I brought over, like you said, to Nevada. Iolani um, boy, Iolani boy, final quarterback. Yeah, and 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 it's yep. such a great kid. Got to know the family really well. Um, you know, and and he brought over um, some other guys. You know, two guys with him. And really, I, I, when I was recruiting Nevada, I didn't really recruit a lot of Hawaii kids because they because Hawaii was so highly recruited, and and just coming to Nevada was 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 just it was a it was tough. You know, in my mind, I thought it was tough to try to get these kids. You know, now that I'm here, I'm trying to throw a net over them. And I'm trying to, you know, the the, the, the college coaches are starting to flood the, the state. And if I knew they were coming, I'd have TSA hold them up at the airport a little <laughs> bit. And so, um, but, but Jonah's a great kid um, and, and, and a great quarterback. And, and he's doing really well and, 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 and very smart. How do you navigate the transfer portal is it just something you, you you check the database on a daily basis type of thing see what names pop up how does that work sure you know uh, you know like you know football is is high business i mean it's it's a lot of money a lot of people making money off of of of, of football and in different varied ways and and the transfer portal is no different you know there's there's programs that you know once kids get in uh, their 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 database and and get in the database, you know it, it shows who they are, where they're from, where their high school is from, you know how many stars they had, if they played if they played game reps, you know it, it tells everything about these kids and 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 at, at at real time, you know and so, um, you know it's 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 for us, you know it's we we you know we we supply to these things so we know what's going around the country. And, and that we can make contact with guys right away and, and, and watch their film in real time and, and to get a, get a head start on, on what we need to do. Very interesting. Just another layer to the responsibilities of a head coach and the coaching staff. Thanks again to Tampering Tom for calling in. 296-1420 is the number. We have Ben. Yes, that's right. Tom's getting an applause there. Uh, we have Ben on the line. Ben, are you there? Yes. What's up, Ben? Well, welcome back. Welcome back, Coach. Uh, I'm an alumnus of St. Louis, and I follow you to high school, into UH, and so forth. Well, that's old timers. We think we know football. We don't. Anyhow, <laughs> there's a rumor going around that uh, Kevin Cordero is trying to get out of his transfer portal and come back to UH because he says you were his idol. Any truth to that? And well, please be specific, Timmy, please. <laughs> well, 
Well, that would that, <laughs> that that's a great question, but that would also be tampering as well. <laughs> yes, yes. And so, um, cool. you know, it, it's one of those things where you know I can't I I, I I can't comment on 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 people that are in other institutions, and the and the reason for the transfer okay. portal, okay, is that when 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 kids want it, when kids get into it, they're what they're saying is that they're forfeiting. Their, their right to play at that school and they're opening up their right and, and interest so other schools can come in but if they're if they're signed if they're enrolled if they're currently with the team you you cannot talk talk with them or talk about them and so that's why I talk in the the presence of a the past and and what I've done with those guys and so uh, but but Chevin is you know Chevin is loved you know is loved here. And um and then played football at a high level here and very respectable. He he was a guy that uh again um you know was was one of the dominant quarterbacks in the Mountain West. So, hey, thanks a lot for the call, Ben. Appreciate it. I mean, I don't even think during Timmy's playing career that he ever had to scramble quite that much <laughs> under under the pressure of those potential tampering questions. But you did a good job there. Uh, but we do appreciate the calls. Two nine six fourteen twenty is the number. All right, we have a message via Facebook from Aaron. Are we getting any closer to having tailgating for game days? Has there been any of that kind of discussion? The fans love it. What do you think, Timmy? Yeah, that's that's a question that um that you know, um Island Day was good. You know, Island Day was a success. I think um building upon Island Day and and again, um you know, we we have we have meetings and we meet as a committee and um you know, we talk with the with the athletic department, and there's different phases to it, and we have to go talk to the upper campus and 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 the people that are in charge, and and there there might be a place, there might not be a place. We there's still a lot of I look at the university, and if we're gonna have games there, I look at that piece of land as 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 a as opportunity. Sure. And so, um, if we can if we can work something out where you know um that there is tailgating, because I, I I know right down the street. When we're at Aloha Stadium, that's one of the, the the family favorite things to do is to be together with family, enjoy some good times, throw the ball around. I I, I personally loved driving on the bus, getting out of the bus, and even in the stadium, you could smell the barbecue from outside burning, the coals and and the teriyaki on the grill. You know, it's a distinct smell, but you you smell it. You know, and and and, and you know it's game day, and so I do miss those things as much as you guys, and 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 of course uh, we're always listening to you guys, and and that's important that uh, that you guys have a voice because you guys are the fans, and and you guys are the state, and and you guys are what support us. So we'll listen to you guys, and if we can we can do it, we can do it, and you know of course I'll fight for you guys. It's gonna take some creativity though uh, to create as as it advantageous and beneficial a game day environment as possible. I think Island Day showed a lot of that innovation, making use of Les Murakami Stadium, making use of Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center. I mean, you could put people in there to watch the telecast of the game uh, for to, to bring extra people on campus. I mean, there are a lot of ways to try to tinker this thing with the retrofitted stadium. Uh, we're just sort of scratching the surface here. Sure, and, and, and we're not even talking about an upper campus where there's more parking and, and there's other uh, uh, other opportunities like an amphitheater, a campus center, you know, um, you know, the College of medicine engineering business i mean there there's so much that that campus can provide and 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 you know it, there's you know there's of course there's rules that you got to start with and, and and abide by and 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 those things first and so um but but great to get into those conversations yeah. and 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 of course of course i've always i always look at what i can control and what i can do and that's getting this team ready to win and i think if we win um you know, I think a lot of good things can start to happen. All right, with that, we have to take a break. We have a couple of text messages remaining. We still have some time for people to call in. 296-1420 is the number. But, uh, yeah, let's send it away for a moment. We'll be back here from Ruby Tuesday, Moana Lua, for more Call the Coach with Timmy Chang. Hi, this is Rick from Ruby Tuesday, Hawaii. We have a tax season special for you to make April a great month. Choose any one of our four pasta dishes for only $16.99. We have the Parmesan shrimp, crispy mac and cheese, Parmesan chicken, and our best-selling chicken and broccoli pasta. Enjoy any one of them with a Miller Coors Light for only $3.69. Thanks. See you soon and make every day a Ruby Tuesday. Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union brings you advice for life. 
Shopping for a new vehicle? Then check out Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union's auto loans. Is buying a hybrid or electric car part of your sustainable plan? Then receive a 0.25% discount for as low as 1.70 annual percent rate for your auto loan. Go to HiFiCU.com for all your auto loan needs and see all the other benefits that members receive. Helimai, you belong at Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union for life. Federally insured by NCUA. Loan subject to approval. Other rates and terms available. Rate subject to change. Three-year loan rates as low as 1.95%. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and invites qualified candidates to apply to your job. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Here's something new from PAXA, Hawaii's premier technology provider. HPE Electra powers your data from edge to cloud. The HPE data infrastructure is AI-driven, built for cloud, and delivered as a service. The solution provides fast, consistent performance and 99.9999% guaranteed availability. To learn more and to schedule a demo with PAXA, Hawaii's HPE gold partner, go to PAXA.com slash Electra. That's PAXA.com slash A-L-L-E-T-R-A. Your staycation is waiting for you at the newly refurbished Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Walking distance to the beach and lots of shopping. Rooms with smart TVs and high-speed internet. Enjoy rival sports lounge, slice of Waikiki pizza, and IHOP, conveniently located on site. And we have super affordable rates for Kama Aina. Visit Outrigger.com slash Waikiki Malia. Enjoy the magic of Waikiki at the Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Bro, what you doing now? I'm doing my own PV system and I get homie fall proof gear. Bro, I don't think bubble wrap is actually going work. Yeah, I get him. Check this out. Okay. Bro, you okay? I think that heat expanding stuff is true. Getting smoke and hot in here. Oh no. <laughs> Wait <laughs> over here. How we pop water stuff? Hey, hey, poke, poke, poke. Oh, careful. Make sure to have an electrical contractor and licensed electrician do your photovoltaic installations and electrical work. I B E W. Local 1186. Lighting your path to the future. Call the coach with Timmy Chang on ESPN Honolulu. All right, welcome back to Ruby Tuesday, Moanalua. Call the coach with Timmy Chang. Thanks, everyone, for being here. This will be our final segment. Yeah, give yourselves a hand. Thank you for your support and your involvement here. Uh, we have several texts and a caller to get to. We're going to try to blaze through it real quick, though. I understand we have to send a birthday wish out to Kyle. Is that right? Yay! Happy birthday, Kyle. Happy birthday, Kyle. Nice work. Kyle got the boys out today, too. This is the way to spend it right here. Okay, uh, here's a text message. 296-1420, the number. What did you think about that 55-yard field goal by Matt Shipley? This text comes from, hold on, hopefully I can pronounce this correctly, uh, Coach Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. You know, it, it, it was effortless. That, that was probably the most impressive 55 yard kick I've seen uh, in a while you know he, he he put a good leg on it it went through with a lot more distance and um, I'm excited about that kid because when we need him in a pinch um, you know the, those, those points are going to add up all right coach this is another text message what's your game day attire going to be oh uh, that's a good question I haven't gotten that far you know I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do in two weeks to be honest with you and so um, those are good questions but uh but um you know, we're, we'll, we'll have a plan getting closer to the deal. All right. Uh, this is another text message from Alan. Uh, you touched on a little bit. What is your relationship with Jay Norvell? What's the one thing that stands out about him to you? Uh, Jay Norvell, uh, he's, he's a man of commitment. Um, he, 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 he get, he, because he's in the conference and he's a head coach and, and, and because he is who he is and I've been around him for five years, it, it makes me get out of bed and, and it makes me work hard knowing that, that there's there's guys like them out there in this profession and we're going to face them this year. And, um, and, and it's all love. You know, 11 games out of the year, 12 games out of the year, I want him to win and do well. But, you know, when we go to battle, we know what's at stake. We've been to battle together. Uh, we know the mindset that it's going to take. And so um, I, I love and respect that guy so much. And, and, and because of him, you know, the coaching style, the, the, the toughness, the, he talks about grit and, and determination. And so uh, those, are the, those are the same things and the same principles that we install in our team here. 
All right, uh, we have a caller on the line. Tracy is on the line. Tracy, if you could make it as quick as possible, that'd be great. Hey, Coach, if you could, um, great to have you back, by the way. Uh, you know the, the parking structure? Yeah? Those, those could be marketed and monetized to create kind of like the brotherhood box seats because those are premium seating, but they're cheating people out of there. So if you could, like, make passes, monetize it, charge people a premium to park there and have, you know, a really good seat, uh, I think that'd be a great idea. Hey, Tracy, thank you for the call. And, and you know what, I, you mean you are on the same wavelength. I took a picture of that thing one morning at about – six o'clock in the morning just running on the field and uh you know you just look at that view and um it, it's it's a po it's a possibility but you know at the same time we got to respect the the rules and regulations of the of the of the school but um but that's a great idea it's something that i that i was thinking about as well brotherhood parking i like it thanks for the call tracy all right facebook message from kyle what is the formula for success at hawaii and what have you learned recently that also needs to be part of the formula going forward this is kind of a good segue as we get to the the conclusion of the show what's coming up next that formula for success moving forward you know the formula is 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 having a team that's really tough-minded really bought in to what they're doing um they they believe in the cause there the brotherhood is, is is it's not something that I made up. It's something that the athletic department and the kids came up with, and and it's about the guys in the locker room. June talks about it all the time. It's about the guy next to you. You're doing, you're giving, you're you're sacrificing your selflessness and your selfish ways to complete a job for the guy next to you because you don't want to let him down, you know. And so the success has always been, hey, the local kids mixed with the mainland kids getting on the same page accomplishing the goal and then and, and doing it for each other and having the state back them. That's the recipe for success. That's why I stay home. That's why I know in my heart that and, and I and I put my I wake up and my I put my two feet down every day knowing that we're gonna be okay. If we just follow the format and, and, and make good choices every day and you know, I'm gonna do my part and hit the ground running with our coaching staff and and then get our players to buy in and, and be accountable. I think uh, I think we're going to be okay. And I think that's exemplified by a guy like Leonard Lee, who had to do a lot of self-reflection. Right, he went through a tough time under the previous regime. Uh, you come in, he comes back. He seems to have a rejuvenated spirit. He gets two picks at the Island Day Spring Game. Uh, he's a success story unto itself, to the degree of what you're talking about. You know what, Leonard? This is so Leonard wasn't on the team when I got here. And so one of our few staff, uh, one of our few team meetings, I just asked the guys, hey, who wants to, we're going to take a vote. Who wants Leonard Lee back? And the whole room raised their hand in the lecture. I said, hey, you know what, you're back. And I think Leonard Lee led our our defense in interceptions. And, and that's a testament to him. He's just happy to be back. He even walked out, he even went to the walk-on tryout knowing that he was playing, traveling, playing on special teams. He went to the walk-on tryout just to get on the team. And it, and it, and it, and it showed us, it showed the coaches that were here how humbling that was that he just wanted to be a part of, a part of this team and be, be with his brothers. And, uh, and the kid, it just exemplifies everything we're talking about. Hey, Timmy, we appreciate your time. Thanks for coming down. Thanks to the Chang gang, everybody else, all of you for supporting the cause, supporting the program. Supporting Ruby Tuesday, Moanalua, thanks for your hospitality as well. Uh, I'm Kanoa Leahy. That will do it for us for another special edition of Call the Coach. Mahalo, everybody. Until next time, aloha from Ruby Tuesday. You've been listening to Call the Coach with Timmy Chang on ESPN Honolulu. Presented by PAXA, Coors Light, and Ruby Tuesday Hawaii. And also brought to you by HGEA, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union, and IBEW Local 1186. Some people think of public workers as statistics, numbers, positions that are unnecessary. But public workers include police dispatchers, lifeguards, principals, and other school workers like safety and security specialists and educational assistants, public health nurses, and thousands more real people who play important roles that every community needs. So those public workers, we shouldn't take them for granted. They provide essential services that benefit us all. A message from HGEA. Hi, this is Rick from Ruby Tuesday, Hawaii. We have a tax season special for you to make April a great month. Choose any one of our four pasta dishes for only $16.99. We have the Parmesan shrimp, crispy mac and cheese,
Parmesan chicken, and our best-selling chicken and broccoli pasta. Enjoy any one of them with a Miller Coors Light for only $3.69. Thanks, see you soon, and make every day a Ruby Tuesday. Your staycation is waiting for you at the newly refurbished Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Walking distance to the beach and lots of shopping. Rooms with smart TVs and high-speed internet. Enjoy rival sports lounge, slice of Waikiki pizza, and IHOP, conveniently located on site. And we have super affordable rates for Kama Aina. Visit outrigger.com slash Waikiki Malia. Enjoy the magic of Waikiki at the Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. This is Sarah's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. Driving cross country with two young children is ambitious, to say the least. Then our check engine light came on. We pulled into O'Reilly Auto Parts and they tested it. Turned out it was a faulty sensor. They referred us to a great mechanic just down the street and we were back on the road in no time. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. That to-do list you have needs one more thing chill it's an easy thing to do just crack open an ice cold coors light and chill take the afternoon off and binge watch anything go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours who's counting anyways or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week whatever you do do it with a coors light mountain cold refreshment made to chill 2020 coors brewing company golden colorado celebrate responsibly this is ESPN Honolulu, KKEA Honolulu, AM 1420 at K224 FR.